I remember the, the research director of the CIA, he said that mind control is the ability to control every thought, feeling, behavior, uh, emotion, and whatever a, a person does with electrical stimulation of the brain. Right. And you know, that was in 72. And when yeah. he said that in 72, that means it's 30 years old. <laughs> at 72. least, at yeah. least. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just wonder, you know, when people, they put this mobile phone up to their head because then they are doing electrical stimulation of the brain. Right. And I like observing people and how they change and, and what is going on. And it seems like, and it has been speeding up the last two years especially, people seem to have become more and more mad, you can say. It's like the normal co cognitive functions don't function anymore. The coherent thinking is, is, is way up. It doesn't work anymore. It's like even the simplest things, it's of course not all people, but it's the majority we're talking about and it's the majority they wish to remove from the planet. That's how I look at it, it's very concrete. But yeah, it, it, it seems like they are becoming more and more out of themselves and actually they are, of course. But Yeah, that's true. Alzheimer's has risen like this with young people under, under 30. Now that was unheard of 20 years ago. Now, what is the reason? Mobile phones, because it's the young people using them. Uh, I heard of a Swedish man who, who um, talked, because of his job, five hours a day on a mobile, he became deaf and blind. And, of course, officially, it's always denied. Denial, denial, denial. There is no, no, no. We're doing research, we're doing ten-year research, no, nothing. The same thing happens in the future, like with the tobacco. You know, tobacco doesn't cause cancer. That was denial, denial from the tobacco factories. Now they have to admit it, and they have had to pay some compensations. So what they do, they put on the labels, tobacco can, uh, can cause uh, health problems or whatever. The same they probably will do with the, with the mobile. They will just put a little sticker that it may cause health problems. And after that, since you anyway use it, most people do in the Western world especially so then they have no liability and they don't have no responsibility they don't have to pay you that you got a brain tumor that you got Alzheimer's and you got suppressed your intelligence went down and that you can see we are dealing today in a scary way with a lot of zombies yeah. they, they really don't think and yeah. young people I've seen it from my, my, my acquaintances, I'm scared when I see them talking on the phone all the time. Because then they, they just don't remember anything. You know, we, we hey, call me someone, oh I forgot, oh I forgot. And then they're doing, one young woman was driving a car, having, having a, a, a cup of coffee in her hand and talking to a phone at the same time. I mean, that's crazy. They don't think it's crazy. They think it's okay. Yeah. The future is not what it used to be. Yes, when you say that the kids or children, they don't think a lot anymore. When you, for instance, go into a shop to buy something and you ask about something, sometimes I just get the impression there's nobody home. You know, it's like I'm knock knock on the forehead because it's really sad to experience. And, and also when you see how people have dressed and so, you know, they have built in like this, they look like zombies with the trousers all the way down and something has changed so much. And also when we look at, you know, young women or young girls, you know, I just, I started, I think 10 years ago, I said something is changing in their eyes. They are like, they are very focused on, they want something. And it's like I said, it says in their eyes, they something about sex or something. It's so much about the physical. Right. Everything has become so physical. That's right. And the girls are so challenging, even though they're 12 years old, 14 years old. And it's, it seems like, where did the pride go? Where did the ethical way go? Where did the, how do you say, the... Today it's like everything is being exposed. And normally you have to, you know, it was kind of a, a Christmas, you know, you, you have to unwrap things. And today everything is just up front. Well, it, it does seem that things have changed quite a bit, but I r recall when I was 15 years old at the confirmation school in Finland, uh, we were told that um, in, the, in the rhyme stones, which are 2,000 years old or something, it was said that uh, the youth has changed, that they don't obey their 
their uh, parents anymore. So that is the same. I mean, youth has changed, but on the other hand, if they wouldn't change, what would happen? Because then the, the world would be still. If they would respect everything that the, the elderly generations did and didn't do anything differently, we would still be there with no electricity or something. Yeah. So on the other hand, they do have, a, 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 I would say, responsibility to think differently, to bring new ideas to take us into the space age. Yeah. But uh, it can be done positively or negatively, and it seems that the negative development is now on the top, and that should be changed. Yeah.